So I want to talk about the symptom of having a lump in your throat, a sensation that there's something in there, but there's actually nothing in there. What is this condition? What can you do about it? There's a few different medical names for this condition. If you wanted to know this, it's not important. But what I'm going to give you today is some basic data on really what's happening. If we take a look at these structures right through here, we have the pharynx, which is in the back of the throat right here. And let's say I'm looking this way right here. So the tongue is right here, the jaw is right here. And then we go from the pharynx right below it, we have the larynx. That's your voice box, okay? We have the vocal cords, you have a lot of other stuff going on there. You have muscles and ligaments and cartilage right through here. Right below this, you have the trachea. The trachea is a, a structure that has an opening into your lungs, okay? So that's where the trachea is. And then right behind the trachea, you have the esophagus. That's where the food goes down into the stomach. And you have various valves and controls or sphincters. Sphincter is a muscular valve that can close like this. And that's controlled by certain parts of your autonomic nervous system. And there's a little flap through this structure to control the food, to make sure the food doesn't go down the wrong pipe. And that's called the epiglottis. And so you have a lot going on in this area right here with nerves and muscles and tendons and cartilage and the coordination of allowing air and food and speaking. Now, about a couple years ago, I was doing lunch with an old client that I had. And as I was sitting there, I noticed that she started choking after she consumed some soup with some chunks of chicken and it got stuck in her throat. And she's like, I can't breathe, right? And I have never ever been in a situation where I had to perform the Heimlich maneuver. And I'm very quickly trying to remember how to do it. And so I go behind her and I start to do the procedure and it doesn't work. And she's like, she's choking and I'm looking around and everyone's just watching and I'm going, oh my gosh, she's turning red she's gonna pass out. And at that moment, what came to mind is that this area of your body, the vocal cords, the structures in this area are highly innervated by the autonomic nervous system, both the parasympathetic, which is the vagus nerve, as well as the sympathetic fibers. And so what I told her is I just said, relax, just calm down, just try to relax. Now I know it's kind of difficult to try to get someone to calm down when they can't breathe, but she just sat down, she relaxed, and then she could start breathing. And so one of the reasons I brought that up is that one of the triggers for having this lump in the throat sensation is stress. So when you go through stress, you activate these sphincters and things can close up and you can have all sorts of problems, including laryngitis and all sorts of hoarseness and problems with your vocal cords as well. So this symptom can be activated by stress, a virus, low vitamin D levels, which we'll come back to that, GERD, which is an acid reflux situation, and even a problem with the vagus nerve. One of the things that's happening is we're getting a spasm in some of the soft tissue in this area right here. And one of the medical names for a spasm in this area is laryngeal spasm. And what's interesting is if you look up this condition right here, hypocalcemia, that is low amounts of calcium in your blood, one of the symptoms for this is this right here, spasm in your larynx. Interesting. That's one of the symptoms. So in practice, what I would always give people is some simple calcium and it really would help them. The type of calcium that I would recommend for this condition is calcium lactate. I used to use calcium lactate from Standard Process and you can get that online, it's very inexpensive. It works great and it's non-dairy. I would also believe calcium orotate would work too. I haven't tried it. I do know that this works good for other types of uh, spasms in the body as well as menstrual cramps and it's a type of calcium that can penetrate the tissues very well. But in practice, I always use calcium lactate. It's a non-dairy, very inexpensive. You would take two or three on empty stomach each day and that seems to work very, very well. 
because what we're dealing with is a spasm, a muscular contraction. Another symptom of hypocalcemia is tetany, which is a little twitching right here. And you could actually have tetany, and that can actually affect the um, quality of a voice. There's actually a condition called strider in infants, where an infant's voice is very harsh and raspy. And take a wild guess what causes that hypocalcemia and low vitamin D levels, because one of the causes of hypocalcemia is low amounts of vitamin D. So it could be that the person is low in calcium because they're low in vitamin D, which probably is actually pretty common. So one of the things I would recommend to take on empty stomach is not just the calcium, but the vitamin D as well. We also know that if someone has GERD, even though they have a acid reflux, what's really behind that is a low amount of acid in their stomach. It's called hypochlorhydria or achlorhydria, which means you have a deficiency of acid or you have no acid. And what's happening now is the valves aren't closing and the acid is squirting up. Well, if you don't have enough acid, guess what you're not going to be able to absorb in the body? Calcium. There's a connection between low vitamin D and low calcium. There's also a connection between viruses, certain viruses, and calcium too, because calcium can help put certain viruses back in remission. And too much stress over a period of time can deplete your calcium as well. So anyway, if you have a lump in the throat, try this remedy and comment down below. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.